hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel in today's tutorial i'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of adding a payment method to your google adsense account i'll show you how you can be able to add a bank account or link your bank account to your google adsense account this is a crucial step to ensure you receive your earnings without any hitches whether you're a blogger a youtuber or app developer this guide is for you let's dive in deep setting up your payment method in google adsense is essential to receive your earnings without a valid payment method google won't be able to transfer your funds and you might experience delays so let's ensure your hard earned money reaches you promptly so i'm going to take you guys through the process right now and also if this video is helpful to you do it to like subscribe and leave a comment so guys let's get started the first step you have to take is to log into your google adsense account i can do that by going over to your browser and let me tap on my google chrome browser to open it up so once your google chrome browser opens up what you have to do right the way is to type in um google adsense.com or you can type in adsense.google.com just type in adsense.google.com so let me tap on the search icon then let me type in adsense.google.com you can see it right there adsense.google.com so let me tap on enter to search it out you can see guys it's loading up so once you log into google adsense account what you have to do is to make sure the right google account is selected you can do that by tapping on the google profile on the right hand side so let me tap on it you can see here my google account just make sure you select the right google account for which you want to add a payment method for which you want to link your bank account so let me select this right now you can see guys it's switching over to the account i just selected to the new google account i just selected you can see it's loading up so guys now um let me show you guys how you can be able to link your bank account how you can add the payment method the first step you have to take is to tap on the menu icon on the left hand side so let me tap on it right the way then the next step you have to take is to tap on payments so let me tap on payments then you tap on payments info let me do that you can see guys it's loading up then the next step now you have to take is to scroll downward so let me scroll then what you have to do now is to tap on where you can see add payment method you can see it right there so let me tap on it you can see what's using there it says how to how you get paid add a payment method to receive your earnings so it's important you tap on add payment method let me do that real quick right here guys is the next step you can see what's written there payment method they said add payment method so guys you can see we have two options there the first one is add new wire transfer details or add new check details so guys want to receive your money through wire transfer you go for the first option they want to receive yours through check they go for the second um option so i want to use the wire transfer so let me tap on the first option so guys now you can see what's written here they said add new wire transfer details so guys now what you have to do now is to go ahead now to impute on um, the name on your bank account you have to impute your bank name as well you have to impute the swift code of your of your bank and also you have to impute your account number they have to retype the account number to be sure that is correct so as um, you can see they say beneficiary id that's optional so i'm going to be leaving that blank so you have to impute your name the name in your bank account exactly the way is on your national id card or the um the government issue id card that you used in um verifying your identity on google adsense so make sure the name are exactly enter your legal name the way it is your first name your last name and and the rest just make sure they are exact the way it is on your bank account then your bank name you have to impute your bank name which can be um commercial banks like uba access bank um zenith bank and the rest of them then for the swift code which is you can see it right there written swift bic you can go to your physical bank to get the swift code from them or you can browse with your internet swift code for uba swift code for access bank swift code for zenith bank you're going to find it right there so let me go ahead now to fill up all of this information let me do that real quick let me go ahead now to impute my name and make sure the name you're imputing right here is your legal name make sure that's the name on your bank account and also make sure that's the name on your government issued id card the one that you use in verifying your google adsense account like i said earlier on so let me quickly now you can see i've imputed my name so let me go ahead now to impute the bank name so you can use whichever bank at all that you you're banking with you can go ahead to use it um you can create a um let me mention this the bank account you're going to be adding here make sure it's a dollar 
regular account make sure it's a domiciliary account so you can go to any physical bank around your area then create a dollar account a domiciliary account or you can go online on the internet to create also a dollar account you can see i've imputed the bank name so let me go over to the swift code which is also called bic which means business identifier code so this swift code is an 8 to 11 character code used for international money transfers to identify a specific bank or branch so um it can either be an eight character code or an 11 character code as you can see there mine is eight that's because i didn't impute the last three character which is usually three numbers as you can see i didn't impute the three numbers the three character so you can decide to impute the um three numbers to identify the particular branch but i don't want to identify the particular branch i just imputed the eight the first eight character so that is good so you can decide to impute the eight character or the 11 character so um the code is composed of um four letters for the bank two letters for the country two character for the location and an optional three characters for the specific branch like i said so you can find a swift code through your bank by going to the bank through its website or by using an online swift code checker so these are the three ways you can actually get it just go over to your browser and search it out you will see it so let me go ahead now to impute um the account number of my dollar account of my domiciliary account remember um google adsense is paying via dollars so you have to impute a dollar account so let me impute mine then let me go ahead now to impute um the um account number again let me type it to be sure that it is correct it says um retype account number so i'm retyping it you can see guys let me cross check you can see um the two account numbers are correct and the same right there guys can see i've repeated the name on my bank account my bank name um the swift code um the um account number and also i retyped the account number so let me scroll down what's now the next step now um if your bank is actually using an intermediary bank before they get the money into your account then you have to tap on where you can see intermediary bank then for the ff or fbo you can ask your bank as well so you can ask this get this information from your bank but what you have to know is that these two options the intermediary bank and the f fc or fbo they are all optional so i'm going to be leaving them blank let me tap on it you can see they said um intermediary bank name is optional so i'm going to be leaving it let me tap on f fc or fbo can see it right there also it is optional so guys um those are optional so let me leave that so now after you're done um what you have to do now is to decide whether you want to use this your this this payment method i want to add if you want to set it as your primary payment method you can see what is written set as primary payment method you can see it's already ticked if you don't want it as your primary payment method you have to untick it so after that now what you simply have to do what you simply have to do is to tap on save so let me go ahead now to save it let me tap save can see guys it's loading it's going to get saved in few seconds wow guys can see i've been able now to add the payment method i've been able now to link my bank account to my google adsense account you can see try the wire transfer to bank account you can see the bank account right there you can see the name so guys now um i've been able now to show you guys how you can be able to add or link your bank account to your google adsense and i believe it was helpful if it was do it to like subscribe and leave a comment see you in the next upload